You're mm -hmm. engaged now. I, with Paul, yes. Yes, Paul. I'm engaged with Paul. Mm -hmm. did, did Dr. Morris say anything to you about Paul? No, uh -uh. I never told him about Paul. Did no. he talk to you about Fred? Um, I have talked to him about Fred, yes. What did he say to you about Fred? Well, he, he uh, was supposed to see me in December and he didn't show up. And finally, I, then he finally admitted that he was uh, a scam in me. So I, Who? I no longer. Who admitted that? Uh, doc, uh, the, why, the guy that pretended to be Dr. Morse. Okay, but didn't he also tell you you're also getting scammed by somebody else? Um, yes, he told me not to, um, to send money to Fred. Yes, he told yeah. me I was being scammed by Fred. But okay, yes. so he said, look, I'm scamming you. And, he told and don't me send any money to Fred either. Because <laughs> right. Fred's scamming you too. Yes, he told me that too. <laughs> so how did he even know about him? I had mentioned uh, to him about Fred that Fred yeah. is an honest man. I always, I still believe that too. Yeah, but I, and I do need help with Fred. <laughs> This is a guy that is, he says, look, I'm scamming you. Can you still send me some gift cards? Well, I didn't send him anymore. After. No, I haven't. Not after I realized his, that he admitted who he was. No, I haven't. And he told I you actually, this other guy's a scammer, too. Do you know why he said that? Because he's probably sitting three cubicles down mm -hmm. in a workroom in Nigeria. Oh, well, you talking about Fred? No, Fred, Fred has actually had... I had rescued Fred from Africa, and that's what I really need help with you because he didn't make his flight come in Monday. And, and he needs uh, her to send him more money. Yes. Surprise. He needs know, money he for had, a cab. He had, um, the deal with him is that um, he was counting on me to get him to the airport, and he missed his flight. Okay. It, You're in the United States, the middle of the United States. He's in Africa. Right. And he's counting on you to get him to the airport. <laughs> Who's going to button up his shirt? Wait, what, what the hell? Are you, I don't know. I, I mean, just... commonsensically, commonsensically, does that make sense to you? Here's a guy that's in Africa and he's so incompetent that he needs some lady in the middle of the United States to get him to the airport in Africa. Right. I don't know. I feel sorry for him. I guess I, I still feel bad about him because I know he nearly lost his life over there the first time. Yeah, I hate when that and, happens. Uh, Here's what he said. <laughs> this, this is his, he said, Fred talking to you. He says, I told you to send me $200. If I miss my flight, you're going to be to blame. You said, you broke me before. I'm not obligated to help you. You need to think things out. Fred, it's your stubbornness that is causing this issue. Lois, I can't believe you would miss your flight because it is so expensive. Fred, it's your fault. Mm -hmm. Lois, so what are you going to do? Fred, well, I'm blaming you for everything. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to blame you for everything. Right, he did. I and just that's don't what understand happened how like, a good, honest person blames you for their stuff. Can I also just add that he was stuck in Africa in September. My mom called everybody she knew, begging for like five thousand dollars to get him back, including yes. my mother-in-law, and said that he would pay her back double because, of course, these guys always promise to pay you back double every single time. And then somehow, all of a sudden, like what last week, he calls you and he tells you he's coming back to Oklahoma and he'll be flying in on Monday. As soon as I heard that, I knew something's going to happen. He's going to need money. I wasn't surprised Monday when you were upset. I knew he had called you and told you something happened at the airport. How is it that this guy has $800,000 in a bank account that he finally got to, obviously somehow, to get back to Africa from New York City, but yet he needs you to send him $200? He has $800,000, Mom. He knows what your situation is and that you've given away all of your money. Every bit of it. But yet he still needs money from you. Do I you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.